Dear ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending this presentation. My name is Manuel Casalizande and I'm a Prodotural Fellow at the University of Vigo. Today I'm going to present you our work entitled Proposal and Definition of a Novel Methodology for Improving the Design and Manufacturing of 3D Printing Processing Hands in Developing Countries. I'm going to divide this presentation in three main points, which are the introduction, the methodology and a case study, and finally the conclusions. So nowadays, there are more than 600 million people that are living worldwide with any kind of disability. The majority of them are living in low-income countries and cannot afford a prosthesis. As you can see in the figure one, 80% of them are living in low-income countries. There are several organizations, as Enable, Ayuda Metros D, or Free 3D, and volunteers that are developing and manufacturing low-cost hand prosthesis using 3D printing techniques. These designs are usually available online and anyone can help printing them. However, the problem related to them is that uh, they are generic and usually not, are not customized. So here our proposal, our goal is to propose a new methodology which helps to improve the design of hand prosthesis in order to make them easier to manufacture and more adapted to the specific user needs. So <clears throat> the idea is to start understanding what a group of user what they what they need, okay, and with that be able to establish some kind of selection criteria to later base on on a study of the different models which are available online, select the best one, the one which best fits or which are which is best best adapted to the specific user needs. Here we have an example which is summarized in table one that you can pause the video to check it. Uh, where some kind of uh, specific user needs were got from from an interview with experts in the field, in this case from Ayuda Metros Day. These specific user needs were then translated into design criteria requirements that were used as selection criteria of the different models. It's important to highlight that we have used the CAN model to determine the significance level of each of the requirements uh, and that uh, we have used the, this model, which established three main categories, which are must be attributes, performance attributes, and attractive attributes. The, the first one, the must be attributes, are the most important that are essential for, for the user. So we have selected several models which are available online, in this case, in Enable platform, which are the Kinetic Hand, the Phoenix Hand, and Osprey Hand, and they were ranked or using the, the different must be attributes that each of them gets. In this case, the, the, the best one was the finished hand that is the one which must be, which have the, the bigger amount of must be attributes and that is improved. So <coughs> for improving the design, we have used or we have taken into account manufacturing restrictions related to 3D printing and the FN concepts uh, DFN is an approach which is aimed to simplify the manufacturing and assembly process of the of something, reducing its cost and preserving the, the essential the essential product functions. We have here some some examples of things to improve. That is to avoid overhanging elements uh, in the case of 3D printing, uh, to to reduce the use of supports and uh, try to design something which can be uh, printed in the in the volume of the printer. Uh, we have some other examples related with the FA, <clears throat> as you can see here in table 3. So you can check them and pause the video if you are interested. So if this is applied, uh, this concept uh, through using through the uh, CAD software, uh, we will obtain an improved model. This model is later evaluated uh, to see if it's okay or not. If it's not okay, it would be modified again in the, uh, using a CAD design software. But if not, uh, we will obtain the improved model, which is uh, manufactured and assembled. And we have then the, the prosthesis to give to the user. So as you can see, we have proposed a methodology that helps to improve, of course, the, the design process of this kind of processes, uh, make it then easier to manufacture and uh, adapted or more adapted to the specific user needs. Thank you for, for your attention, for seeing this video. If you have any question, do not hesitate to, to drop me an email.